Well, over the past two decades, the Bears have seen more than their fair share of change. Amidst all of that, there's been one constant, a voice spanning decades. That voice is in Louisiana with the Bears for the Sugar Bowl this week, and that's also where we find Matt Lively. Hey, Matt. A season which ends in the Sugar Bowl is one built on big moments. At the center of those, an iconic echo from the press box. It's one that all Baylor fans can recognize. The more you hear his joy, the better the Bears are playing. Hand up, running left, trying to get to the corner. He didn't get there. He didn't there. get it. He didn't he get, get, get there. He didn't get it. He stopped he short. Did. My name is John Morris and I am proud to be the voice of the Baylor Bears. I just think this year's te Baylor team is better equipped to uh, really compete against uh, Mississippi in the game, so I'm really looking forward to it. And Baylor will take over with 24 seconds to play. The win over Brigham Young just stands out as really big because that's a good team and you know they knew what, what uh, Jeff Grimes wanted to do offensively. And off, gonna throw it. He's got it. Touchdown. Oh, it's Dylan Doyle. A second homecoming special. I think the loss at TCU was really tough because give TCU credit, but Baylor just didn't do things that they did primarily the rest of the year. Bohannon passes right side. It is intercepted by TCU. The Frogs have the interception. Uh, beating Texas and then beating Oklahoma, you know, to to be the champ, you've got to beat the champ, and Baylor had to do that, had to get past Oklahoma, which had won six straight Big 12 championships. He's going to run it. Bohannon for the right corner. He's in, standing up. Gary Bohannon runs it in from five yards out. We played the Big 12 championship game in 2019, came up short against Oklahoma, and hard to believe just two years after that, second year for Coach Aranda back in the Big 12 championship game and win it and go back to the Sugar Bowl. And he was inches short. Sharon McVay kept him out. The Sugar Bowl is going to be Morris's 404th consecutive BU football game. He tells me he can't wait to get back to Louisiana where Baylor has so much history in this contest dating back to 1957. Later in the show, Nicole Latarulo and Curtis Quillen have much more from the Big Easy. Back to you, Leslie. All right. Thanks, Matt.